It's been two weeks since restaurants, bars, gyms, movie theaters and museums have been forced to close in certain parts of Ontario due to high daily case counts of COVID-19. But with numbers not going down and more businesses shutting their doors permanently, many are calling on the government to do the right thing and open back up. Ontario's Premier Doug Ford says, well, these decisions were not easy to make, they were necessary. I have to listen to the health professionals and we see the numbers uh, going up and we're, we're concerned about that. We're over 800 uh, cases. There's only five regions. We're down to only five regions in the entire province that don't have any cases. That's telling me it's spreading right across the province, which is which is concerning. Today, the number of new daily COVID-19 cases in many parts of Ontario are continuing to rise, a concerning trend as we head into the winter months. Today, the province reported its highest daily case count yet, with 978 new cases of the novel coronavirus reported. 89 of those were in Ottawa. It comes at a time the daily case count for the province keeps climbing with 826 new cases on Friday, 841 cases the day before on Thursday, another 790 cases on Wednesday. While most of them are coming from the greater Toronto area, Ottawa is still proving to be a hot spot for the virus. Nepean MPP Lisa McLeod says she has seen evidence of COVID-19 outbreaks at three bars or restaurants in the city, defending her government's modified stage 2 plan. Health Minister Christine Elliott says the only way we will see the numbers go down is by listening to our medical experts. What we have to look at and listen to is the, uh, the scientific clinical evidence uh, and we've been advised by our public health measures table by Dr. Williams and his team that these are measures that we need to take in order to stop the community spread of COVID-19. Here in Ottawa, the number of new confirmed daily COVID-19 cases is rising by the day, particularly in younger age groups. Now Ottawa's top doctor, Vera Etches, is saying multiple outbreaks have been reported among sports teams. Ottawa Public Health is investigating several situations where transmission of COVID has occurred in relation to organized team sports. COVID-19 transmission is occurring in both adults and children's leagues and in a variety of sports. Etches says five team outbreaks have been confirmed with another nine under investigation. At least 28 positive cases have already been linked to team sports. In these instances, transmission or exposure occurred before, during, and after training. I also want to stress that COVID-19 doesn't stay isolated to just players and coaches. We are also seeing the transmission subsequently occur to family members, friends, classmates, and work colleagues. It shows again how easily COVID-19 can spread if the environment allows. Most of the cases appear to be in hockey, with football being a close second. The virus is being transmitted through carpooling and gatherings before and after a game, predicts Ottawa Public Health. While games or scrimmages are banned during the modified stage two lockdown Ottawa is in, practices can still continue. In the light of these events, it's important to remind all families about being COVID wise while protecting or and you know to protect ourselves while participating in organized team sports by wearing a mask, isolating from others when you're sick, staying two meters apart from those outside your household, and exercising proper hand hygiene. Charlie Cena, TVYN News, Ottawa.